Hi, and you're now with the Forerunner Chronicles. All right, everybody, so recently CBS News released a report highlighting the well-documented phenomena of the dramatic decline of religion within North America, which many of you out there may or may not know. But what most of you out there don't know is that while Christianity is on the free fall, there is one form of religion that is upsurging, and it happens to be the rise of neo-paganism, spiritualism, particularly in the form of Wicca. And I'm the high priestess. Be the to be a witch is incredibly relevant in today's society. I cast the circle hand to hand. We kind of work a magic together. Nestled in the heart of the Hudson Valley is the Church of the Eternal Circle. I plan this. The only legally recognized Wiccan church in the state of New York. Osiris. We kind of follow the tradition of the craft of the wise. We are witches. Where for the very first time, members invited CBS2 to attend their services. My thoughts can heal. Lisa Stewart and her husband Anton are the founders of the church. There are definitely more of us than you think. It's estimated as many as a million people identify as being a witch in the U.S., with 20% of that population to be in New York. We have people who are professionals of all kinds. Including a librarian, a computer scientist, a nurse, and a homemaker. Very normal people are part of this religion. In addition to practicing witchcraft, Dr. Davis Sprague, a former Methodist, is a practitioner of internal medicine. Joe Ladotti, a sculptor converted from Catholicism. I'll keep an open mind. Unlike its pop culture portrayal, members say witchcraft is actually grounded in love and spirituality. The stereotype, of course, is a broom of People. It's for sweeping your circle and clearing the energy. Not for flying? Not for flying. This is a somber celebration marking the start of winter. In the Wiccan church, Samhain is known as the Night of Souls, when witches honor their ancestors. And magic is simply the belief you can make anything happen. It's kind of like um, a prayer. There's no devil worship, only a love for the goddess of creation and inspiration, along with the antlered god of all things wild and free. When I tell people that I am a witch, I'm met sometimes with abject horror. But this is based on old myths these modern-day witches now want to dispel. It really is a beautiful way of life. Good. Bring forth your elemental power. Now let's be objective and look beyond the obvious fact that those robes are ridiculous. And there's some real critical interior decorating issues going on inside of that witch's lair. But these people, they're for real. And the fact that Christianity is on the decline in North America and spiritualism is experiencing an upsurge, those statistics are gut-wrenchingly real as well. And as you heard in that news report, the majority of the individuals that are becoming adherents to this neo-paganistic lifestyle that are believers in spiritualism in the form of witchcraft, they're not a bunch of out-of-work, cellar-dwelling millennials that have insatiable video game and weed addictions. The majority of these people are very well-educated, middle to upper class citizens that are just pretty normal people beyond the fact that they communicate with demonic spirits. And what I also find extremely intriguing about all of this is that the greatest concentration of these spiritualists are found in the upstate New York area, the very birthplace of modern spiritualism in North America. Because it was in the year 1848 that the Fox sisters in Hydeville, New York seized national attention through communicating with demonic spirits by using a system of knocking on the walls within their residence which became known as the mysterious wrappings and as the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 15 that which hath been is now and that which is to be hath already been and God requireth that which is past the same place that acted as the birthplace of modern-day spiritualism in North America is now ladies and gentlemen the stronghold of the resurgence of modern-day spiritualism in North America and in our present so-called modern society 
Spiritualism has become widely accepted, so accepted that it's being practiced by many prolific figures within society, entertainers, celebrities, even public officials. And they're not just practicing spiritualism, they're literally videotaping themselves and posting their satanic ventures on social media. For instance, the entertainer Azalea Banks, she's very open about her engagement in the practice of voodoo. Hey guys, it's AB. I'm in the witch cave right now. Now, I just wanted to come here to you in the witch cave today, you know, because I've been talking a lot of today and just wanted to give you guys a real, um, a real peek at what it's about. I'm here in the witch cave with Chola Wenge, a Wenge Chola. I got my Chola Wenge here with the embeles and all the daggers and everything. The amount of crap that's about to come off my floor right now, guys. Oh my God. Three years worth of brujeria. Yes, you know I gotta scrape all the I got my sand blaster, my goggles. It's about to go down. Real witches do real things. And then you have the extremely popular rapper Little Uzi Vert that wears a diamond encrusted chain which has a pendant dangling from it in the likeness of Marilyn Manson who's an open Satanist. However, with all of this satanic buffoonery going on, the majority still want to reject the fact that we're living in the last days just prior to the second coming of Jesus Christ. But the Bible forewarned us in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of devils. Ladies and gentlemen, as people are giving up their belief in the word of God, which means they're rejecting the authority of Jesus Christ in their life, God forewarned us that there would be a decline in people adhering to the faith in the last days because they would be seduced away from the truth, listening to the satanic spirits and giving heed to the doctrine of devils. And that's what we see transpiring even now. And you know who all of this is tending to? The Bible tells us in the book of Revelation chapter 6, beginning at verse 13 and I beheld three unclean spirits like frogs coming out the mouth of the dragon and out the mouth of the beast and out the mouth of the false prophet for these are the spirits of devils working miracles which are going forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty everyone who is falling for the seductive influence of spiritualism in these last days coming in the form of entertainment coming in the form of secular music coming in the form of even fashion these individuals are not being prepared to stand in the Hour of the controversy that humanity will have with an almighty God but they are being prepared to fall with the devil and his angels when they are wiped out by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and don't think my friend that you're impervious to falling to this deception because the Bible warns us once again in the book of 1st Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33 be not deceived evil communications corrupt good manners so you continue to listen to little Uzi Vert you continue to play all the crazy video games you continue to allow your mind to be crippled by the dismembering influence of popular entertainment and what's going to happen to you you will be amongst the devil and his angels when they fall in the battle of Armageddon and that's a decision that I don't think it's wise for any man to make be not deceived evil communications corrupt good manners so what should you do you should follow the instruction that's found in the Bible in the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8 where the Word of God declares finally brethren Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are lovely, and whatsoever things are of a good report. If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. View these things. Listen to those things. Let those things be the meditation of your heart. And by the grace of God, those things will prepare you to be a part of the kingdom of God. God bless you. And as always, this is the forerunner, whether you like it or not, the truth is the truth.